Hey guys, Vizello here. So, today I feel like is the best time to talk about this. Today is Black Friday, and I wanted to talk about the 3DS today. Now, this is going to be more of a shorter video, and I didn't really want to put out a whole lot else today, because I have a lot to work on too. And I just, I wanted to talk about something meaning, just something that ha actually held meaning in late 2018. And that is really just, I wanted to talk about the 3DS, and I feel like for a lot of people, they may not even be considering this console, but it does hold value in 2018, and I want to talk about it. So, this is not going to be a review, this is just going to be a discussion of me just talking about the 3DS, and if you should pick one up in late 2018. And, of course, this is my opinion, and if you have your own opinion, then feel free to leave it in the comments. But, without further ado... Let's get into this. So generally, the 3DS is a console that, understandably, people look over in 2018, and especially late 2018, because of the Nintendo Switch, which, it even arguably, I still think that it is the best handheld console, game console, you can buy right now. It has the best power, it's, it's got the best games compared, I think that compared to the 3DS, it does have better games. And I just feel like support for it is going to be just longer than the 3DS. 3DS is an older console, and the Nintendo Switch just holds more in 2018. And I feel like that is the biggest issue with people getting a 3DS, is that why not spend the extra money and just get a Switch? But if you are, if you just, the Switch is out of the question, and you just, you want a 3DS, and there are three models you can pick up today, four if you count the new 3DS, but I'm going to get into that later. So, I'm just going to be going over all four of them and if you should pick them up. So, starting off with the new 3DS XL. This is a console that is actually the only 3DS still being sold new today because it actually has a 3D tech. Now, if I'm being honest, the 3D tech is not that important to me and it kind of makes sense why it's the only actual 3DS being sold today because the 3D, like, the 3D feature, while kind of, kind of cool, is not really that important. Now, if you do want the 3D feature, obviously, this is the only 3DS you can get right now being sold new off the shelf. But I still do think that if you are picking up a 3DS, the 2DS and the 2DS XL are just... I think that they're just better consoles, simply just because I think that they have better value. Does not really have to exist in 2018, and I feel like if you are buying a 3DS, don't let the 3D feature just sway which console you buy because it's really not going to make much of a difference. Of course, like I said, if you definitely do want the 3D feature, then you really don't have much of a choice, but still, I do think they should look at the other options first before just blindly picking the 3DS XL. Of course, this is the XL model, so it's going to be larger, and it also has the newer tech, and some games, of course, you know, actually need the newer tech to play, and the newer, you know, the that's why it's called the new 3DS, and if you have that newer tech inside of it, then games will look better, and it'll just be a better experience overall over, say, a last generation 3DS, or just the normal 2DS. It also has the highest price point, and I feel like that is the biggest issue, is that when it comes to pure value, the new 3DS XL really does not hold a candle, in my opinion, to the new 2DS XL, which just is, even if it is just a little bit cheaper, around maybe 60 bucks cheaper, it still just has, it just, it's just a better value, and I do feel like, in for a lot of people, that is just the better option. So just to conclude my feelings on the new 3DS XL, it's a great console, I just feel like you should look at the new 2DS XL before just buying that one. Moving on, the new 3DS, which is not the XL variant, is not being sold new today, so I guess to a lot of people it just doesn't count, but I won't talk about it because I guess if you can find it used or just find a new-ish version, just hasn't been opened, and you can usually find it cheaper than a brand new, new 3DS XL, I feel like that is actually a good a good console to get. It's the only normal sized new console you you actually can pick up. And I feel like the size and form factor just is going to be appealing to a lot of people. And of course it does have the newer technology inside of it. So of course it is still a 3DS, but I do feel like if you are buying a console or just a 3DS in 2018 the new 3DS, the non-XL variant, is still a good option. Of course, you do have to do some digging, and of course, it didn't really come to North America. It was mainly only in Europe, but you may be able to find some North American-ish versions if you look hard enough and, like, 
you can get some imported ones but still but you're probably just gonna have to do some more digging to find one of these but in my opinion i think it's worth it because i really like the form factor so next on the list is the new 2ds xl i've been praising this throughout the entire video so let's actually talk about it so this console as you can tell by the name has the newer technology inside of it but it also is not a 3ds this is a 2ds and which means it does not have the 3d feature and as such it's cheaper and also i do think that the colors which i guess does not really matter there's more special editions of the new 3ds xl but i do feel like that the general like base model colors of like the blue and the black looks really nice and the orange and the white also does not look that bad and I feel like that would be a, I just feel like that the new 2DS XL is just the better option compared to 3DS XL. Just because it's cheaper, you can probably find it with some games, like it comes packaged with some games too. But of course, when it does come to pure value, the 2DS has the most value because it, it comes in at under $100. And you can, fi you can find it like bundled with a game, which is really impressive. But as I was saying, the new 2DS XL is still a great console, and I would say that if you want a new, like a newer tech uh, 3DS or 2DS, this is a good option. And moving on to the final version of the 3DS that I'm going to talk about, the normal 2DS. This is the cheapest model you can get, and I feel like this is one of the better ones in terms of, well in terms of value, it is the best one. But in terms of just actual hardware, this one is actually not that bad. Of course, this is also the only 3DS or 2DS that does not have the clamshell design. It's actually just like a flat little like... I, yeah, I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of like a little like slanted brick, I guess, to describe it. And it doesn't look that comfortable, but from what I've heard, it actually isn't that bad. And I would say that if you just want to get a game console for anyone, or if you just want a cheaper one in 2018, this is a great option. And out of all the models here, I would say that if I were just recommending this to anyone, just someone I didn't know, I would recommend this one to them just because it's the cheapest and it's actually not that bad of a console on its own. So those are the four 3DS models you can buy in late 2018. And if I'm being honest, I would recommend the 2DS and the new 2DS XL. And if you have the extra money, if you want to and you want the 3D feature, then feel free to go for the new 3DS XL. And if you want the form factor, then the new 3DS, even though you can't get it off the shelves. I do feel like between all of them, I would probably for myself buy the new 2DS XL. But, you know, the new 3DS XL, I've been bashing it a lot in this video, but it's a great console. Like, it's actually a really, really good console. And I would say that for a lot of people, that would be a great and like a really ideal choice because then you also would just have the option of the 3d feature but for most people i would say that it's just cheaper to get a new 2ds sadly the switch exists and if you're buying a 3ds you have to keep in mind that you could just spend the extra money to just get a switch and the switch is just a better it's just a better console and in my opinion i feel like if you have the money just shoot for the skies and just go for the switch but of course, that is my opinion, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments, and as always, see you.